What's up everyone? It's your boy Ronnie2k and I am so excited because this is our first official tour of the brand new city here in Next Gen's NBA 2K21. I know you guys were really excited when we dropped this info last week um, and we revealed it in its grand mass scape. It was incredible. Now I'm really excited to jump in and give you a deeper dive, a tour and first look at the city and how affiliations fit in. So starting off, when you first load into the city, you'll be welcome to Rookieville on the barge. You can see the city in the distance, but you won't have access to get through the gates until you play a few games here in Rookieville. You gotta show up, you gotta show out. After that, you get through the gate. Here's where the fun really begins. As you might tell when you're walking, the city is a lot bigger than our neighborhood in current gen. Uh, of course, the 2K Beach. You really feel it when you're walking around and discovering all the streets and areas. Look at this view of the city here. In the distance, you get a view of the skyline. It's incredible. But uh, first off, before I go any further, let's pull up the new map and give you a little overview. You see at the bottom here, that's where we came from. That's where we entered. And as you can see in the map, we have our main center city area as well as our four boroughs for our affiliations. On the right, we have Beasts of the East, of course, in the east, which makes sense. Northside Knights up there in the north. Wow, I'm really giving you guys a good compass here. Western Wildcats in the west and the South City Vipers. Oh, surprise, they're in the south. Uh, but the, for this video, I'm going to be showing you the main points of interest. I'll be making a few other tour videos so you can get a deeper look at each specific affiliation part of the city. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, we're going to do a deeper dive on those as we move along. You don't want to miss any videos. Uh, got some good stuff coming. So anyway, onward here near the southern part of the map, we get all the shopping you'll need. You got your shoe stores, Nike, Under Armour, Jordan. Uh, but there are more shops sprinkled in other parts of the city as well. Uh, you'll come to Monument Park next where you'll see a few statues. Right here in the middle, we have a statue to commemorate the OG, the five-time NBA 2K cover athlete. Yes, he was the first five covers. The one and only AI, Allen Iverson. And then you'll also see four other statues that represent the affiliations. If you go up to your statue, you can claim a daily prize from your affiliation. Make sure you got to stop here every single day. Uh, but let's run through. Uh, Beasts of the East, love the mascot here, very intimidating. They are the beasts after all. Here are the knights. I like how the head of the knight is a basketball and the fur of the horse is the basketball net. Very, very compelling job. Here's the South City Vipers. Really cool how it's the Vipers wrapped around a basketball. And then finally, the Western Wildcats, again with the integrations of the basketball and hoop. And if you haven't noticed already, we're pretty much in the middle of the city, the main drag, the main area. You can notice the main event center here, smack dab in the upper center. This is where you'll be participating in the all new and returning events, which will be held inside the event center and special intra affiliation competitions will take place here as well. You'll also find all of your staples here in the middle of the city. We got swags, we got NBA store, Prime, Rec, Gatorade Gym, a lot of things that you guys have come to love over the years. Um, but a new addition here is the Gatorade Gym. Now with two stories and the second floor, of course the first floor is, uh, a very huge gym, much bigger than before, but the second floor houses a great new feature in the city, which are rental courts. What an uninterrupted run of games with your friends or other ballers you just met. Rent a court in the Gatorade training facility and play games however you want. I think this is going to be really cool for people who want to do competitive gaming without the riffraff. Uh, if you just want to play with your friends and just have some games, this is a great place to go. Also around the event center here, you have some pop-up shops like Backpack, Boss, Rags, but there's so many other stores across the city that I don't even have, have time to cover in the video. Maybe I'll do another one at some point, but there are a lot of stores. Another thing you may have seen when I've been walking around is our four town halls here near the middle of the city. I'm sure by now you know affiliations are back and we have four here in the city. There's the new twist of the mayors, which have also been announced. Uh, Mayor Troyden uh, of the Western Wildcats, Mayor Shakedown of the South City Vipers, the Northern Knights grinding DF, and of course the Beast of the East from the guy in Australia, Ticino. And of course the mayors have powers to customize their affiliation in lots of different ways. 
uh, music, designs, etc. So these are the four town halls where you can come get more info about the mayors. And of course, every six weeks, the mayors can be voted out and replaced. So this is where you'll come to vote on that as well. Check out my mayor breakdown video for more info on affiliations and mayors, uh, more juicy details if you subscribe. All right, cool. So as I'm going through, you'll also notice some NPCs walking around the city. I love NPCs. I'm cool. It's kind of cool, a kind of a call out to other games where you can open up the map and see uh, NPCs you can interact with. Be able to talk to them, accept challenges to complete in exchange for various prizes. Uh, but yeah, every four to six weeks, new quest objectives will be added to our people in the city. So you're going to have to check back with them. Um, you'll have new things to do all year long, which is the objective, right? Let's keep you guys entertained all year long. So very cool. Uh, another cool feature is you can see the locations of the city where you can grind on your skateboard. Yes, that's right. We are letting you express your style and grinding on rails you find in the city. Uh, there's some really cool ones. There's a very large hill over in the Beast of the East that features the longest rail grind in the city. And there's also free fully kitted out skateboard waiting for you in decks. Our skateboard shop so you can get started right away. Make sure to stop, it, stop by and pick it up so you can enjoy all the grinding fun. And I don't mean grinding DF, I mean grinding on them on the rails so good times uh we also have two specialty courts that are really cool in the city the first one is located in between the south city wipers and the western wildcats of course there's a 4v4 court and it's a black lives matter themed court the second court there's also a spe really special one uh the mamba themed court to pay homage to the late great Kobe Bryant and cover athlete. Uh, this is located right in between the Knights and the Beasts, and you have a giant Kobe mural above it, and, uh, lots of photo ops. Core is purple and gold theme with eight and 24, and it is a 5v5 core. Um, expecting a lot of games here. Can't wait to play on this core. Yeah, that's all I can fit into this first video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. There are so many other gameplay features. It is crazy. So I, I will be dropping more videos. There's a lot more to come. I'm gonna you know, be ramping up my YouTube and dropping as many informational videos as possible. So lots more to come. Please subscribe uh, and look forward to dropping some more news soon. So thank you guys and see you on the next video.